What's going on, boys and girls? Today we back again on 83 200E, and we're going to be working on sealing up this leaky wheel here. As you can see, I sprayed the bead with some water, and it is just bubbling away. So what we have today, we have the Beat Buster XB455, and we have the Extra Seal Bead Sealer. So what we're going to do is that we're going to use the Beat Buster XB455 to break the bead on the wheel, clean it, and then we are going to take this, what I consider to be a liquid tar, that's pretty much what it is. We are going to goop, goop that bad boy onto the bead and then we are going to get the tire back on the bead and this bead sealer liquid tar snot goop should prevent these leaks here. So the bead buster was like 90 bucks on Amazon and this thing is pretty awesome you know I dressed it out with my QR code so you know if you want to follow you watch this on your TV scan up the cell phone if you're watching the video you can go in the lower in the lower corner where it says subscribe hit that button right there subscribe to the channel yep go ahead and do that and like the video and while you edit comment XB 455 so I can know that you're actually watching all right, so first things first, obey your thirst, Sprite. All right, we are going to take out the valve stem core, and this will rapidly deflate the tire. Make sure you grab the valve stem so that it doesn't go flying, because you'll never find it. All right, so now that the tire is deflated, you want to take the long bolt make sure it's pretty much all the way up take the side bolt make sure that it's pretty much all the way out this part is going to go on the inside lip you want to make sure this is all the way up so that it is all flat in line because as you tighten this down the little crow foot will go down and this is going to push the bead down. So you want to make sure that this is all the way up when we start to make it easier to slide in. So you just take it and just push it in to the bead. Now you're going to have to play with the tightness of this bolt because like on this wheel it has like a little has like a little like a little bead or whatever you want to call it uh, so if I put it too tight then the little crow foot will hit the bead and won't go down anymore so you have to kind of play with how tight or so you need it on the wheel that you are working on um, I gotta remember what size these bolts are Alright, so both bolts are a 19 millimeter. So I'm going to take my half inch and now you do want to make sure, like right there, not tight enough. So let's bring that back. And let's put some more tension on this bad boy. Let's 
Let's see. I don't think um I don't think I'm on it far enough. I don't think I'm far enough on the on like the tire itself. If I wasn't going to, if I wasn't reusing these tires, I wouldn't care about damaging the tire. But I don't want to damage the tire and create more leaks for myself. So I want to have it as close to the edge as possible to not actually damage the tire. So I don't know if y'all can see this, but right now. The tire is basically over the bead on the wheel. So what I'm going to do to fully break it is that when I let this up, the bead of the tire should not move up, but I should be able to just slide this around the wheel a little bit to another spot. And I should be able to break the beat. And I'm trying to remember the exact spot that I had it in hopes of getting it about in the correct spot. Is it on? Is it hitting the lip? Yeah, so it's hitting the lip. So let me back that off a little bit and see if it goes over that little lip on the wheel. loose and once I move it one more time the bead should be good and broke like I said you can move it and you know and take bigger bites or bigger chunks if you want to like I said but I'm not trying to damage this tire if I didn't care about this tire, then yeah, I would just probably do really, 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 really big chunks. But my goal is to reuse this bad boy. And I'm hitting on the lip again. Loosen that up a tad. Sort of jump over the lip. And hopefully, There we go. And there she blows. Bead is broken. So now I'm going to wipe up. I think that's a piece of my of my lip. So now, yep, took a little chunk out of it. So now I'm going to wipe all this soap and water up. I'm going to wipe just gently inside the wheel. Don't do that. Like the book right now, we are done with the bead buster because it has it has busted the bead and the tire is undamaged. So the bead on the wheel does not feel rough, but something isn't playing nice. So I'm going to get a rag dry all of this soap off and water i'll be back we're going to slather it in bead sealer and then get this bad boy resealed up and we should be leak free and good to go because if i can stop this one from leaking i can stop this one from leaking because the inside and outside bead on that one was leaking so i'll be back once we're slapping bead sealer on it 
All right, so everything is dry. The bead on the tire is dry. The inner lip on the wheel is dry. So like I said, we're gonna take this bead sealer tar goop and we are just gonna slather it on and I'll, and I'll clean it up uh, before it's all said and done. But you know, it was really no there's no clean way to do this. You just gotta slather it on there and clean it up before it dry. I mean, that's pretty much it. This stuff is messy and I wish it had a better application process. So if y'all have any uh, tips or tricks, let me know. Now what I will do is that I'll wipe it off around the cap so that the cap doesn't like kind of lock itself on. But as far as the application goes, that's what I do. And then I kind of wipe it up with soap and water before it dries. And it doesn't take that long before it starts drying. So I'm going to do my ratchet strap treatment, take it out to my car, and get it to seat. All right. And just like that, we are done. So if you're doing tires at home, removing them, adding them, stuff like that, two things you need to have. Bead Buster XV455, there will be a link in the description. You also, just in case, you wanna have a hand, this extra seal bead sealer. This is enough bead sealer to do ATV wheels and tires every day for a year. Make sure you close it up real good. I don't know if it will dry out. Make sure you close it up real good. I can only imagine. Close it up real good. It'll probably last forever. Like I said, it's like liquid flexible tar. I guess you could say. With the Beat Buster XB455, as long as you keep the threads uh, clean, and greased up with like lithium grease something like that you should be fine uh, I've seen people use power tools with them but I think you know I would just keep using just um, you know my socket and ratchet just to keep from killing the threads cross thread anything like that so you know it doesn't take that much time to do it by hand just do it by hand you know unless you're doing like a hundred these a day if you're doing that many you need to just get you a tire machine at that point so $99 well spent twenty dollars well spent after you do a couple of tires you know the time and stuff it, itself will pay for itself you ain't got to take them to a tire shop wait pay 15 20 dollars a tire it'll pay for it by itself i got a few people that i need to do tires um for their four wheelers and stuff i think bro got a raptor 660r I'm going to do his four tires for a case of Cronus. So, but yeah, all it is to it. Links will be in the description. Get your bead buster. You ain't got to worry about taking a piece of wood, putting it on there, running on top of it, running your truck over the bead. You know, I tried all that stuff. None of it worked. That worked flawless. Worked flawless. 
no problem. Get you a beer, watch some TV, you have all four tires done in no time. Between those, and I got some tire irons from Harbor Freight, and I can put the description, I can put the link in the description for some off of Amazon if you don't have like a Harbor Freight near you or Northern Tool, or if they don't have them in stock, I will have link in the description for everything, and that's what I use to now break the bead, dismount, and remount, boom, ratchet straps, air compressor, gets them bad boys seated every time, so like always, think it, build it, enjoy it, on the next video, I'm going to be taking this 223 kit, the 223 carburetor kit, with the clear smoke bowl, and I'm going to be rebuilding this carburetor because when I fill it up with gas, it overflows out. So that's next. After that, as far as the drivetrain goes, this should be good to go. So let's go get it. And the 400 EX content is coming as well. I might be doing the first ride on this video in Sherrill, South Carolina before this video comes out depends on how the footage plays with me editing and the schedule and all that stuff so think, build enjoy peace